Hey there Ramblers and Rovers, this is Miguel and today we are rambling and roving our way across Puerto Morelos, just a short distance away from the beach town of Cancun. Puerto Morelos is a really cool little day trip that you can do out of Cancun to explore some more of what the marvelous Mayan Riviera has to offer you. So stick around to see what this little town has to offer so that maybe you can add this to your own pocket list so that you can have your very own rambling and roving adventure. So let's go explore. Going to Puerto Morelos is the easiest thing in the world. We, all you have to do is come to the ADO station, come on the other side of the street where all this line of vans are parked, get in line and pay 30 pesos one way. So that would be 60 there and back. That comes all in total to maybe $3 to get there and come back. So if you're staying in the downtown, You've already seen the beaches, you want something a little more low-key, a little different. All you have to do is get on one of these buses and it'll take you to adventure. So once the bus drops you off by the side of the road, right outside of Puerto Morelos, all you have to do is find the spot where the colectivos that go into the downtown stop Pay another 10 pesos and boom, you're in town. It's actually just coming up right now. So we're walking down the beach here. The docks are here behind me with the iconic tilted lighthouse right behind me and the actual functioning lighthouse also behind me. So it's a bit of a gloomy of a gloomy day. Um, you know, as YouTubers, you know, we might be gods, but we don't control the weather, right? <laughs> so, but we're here anyway, and it's a little quiet right now because it's a, it's a Monday it's a Monday afternoon during the low season but it I'm I'm really liking the feel of this. It's very different from Cancun in the sense that it seems much much lower key. People here just seem to be relaxing. There's no there doesn't seem to be like a rush to be like doing things or hitting places. It's like a place where you come and you chill. Maybe, if you want, you can do the, a tour of the reef that runs all the way from the north all the way down south to Honduras. So this reef that runs behind us is the second longest reef in the entire world, second only to Australia's Great Barrier Reef. 
and it runs all the way from the northern tip of the Yucatan Peninsula all the way to Honduras. And in olden times, this was called the Mayan superhighway because the reef forms a protective barrier between the ocean and the inner channel. So the Mayans would paddle all along this coast with their trading canoes and just to just take goods all the way from the cities of Honduras and Guatemala where they would bring jade and all the way north to exchange their goods for salt and other things. So this is a very nature, history and culture rich stretch of coast that is really worth visiting, especially as a day trip from Cancun if you're tired of the masses or if you're, you know, you don't want to drink anymore. So yeah, this is like a the perfect place to come chill for, for the day. Maybe even say a couple and just, you know, relax, get away from the world a little. So I was speaking with some of the locals who work here at the co-op where all the townsfolk you know, share and distribute the, the different tourists that come in to go do different, you know, different water sports activities, uh, you know, snorkeling on the reef or fishing. So the price for going out to the reef it is 350 pesos per person. That's around $17 at the time of this recording. And he was saying that the price to go fishing on a low number is $200 to just go out. But it might be pricier or cheaper, just depending on you know, like how how well you are at haggling and negotiating, right? It's kind of hard to deny that there is a lot of seaweed around the beach. Since so this is a much smaller town, they don't have the resources that they do in Cancun, nor do they suffer the economic losses. If tourists stop going, coming here, then then would happen in Cancun because of the seaweed. So, you know, it's, it's they don't keep it really clean. It's still not like Tulum or some of these other places where it's like even worse, but. You know, it's just something to be mindful of that if you come here during seaweed season, which is starting fast becoming, you know, seaweed season all, all year, every year now. Um, just, this is just something to be mindful of. The waters of Puerto Morelos seem to be quite swimmable. It looks as though you can just be mostly even walking all the way down to the to the line where that is marked by the buoys, and then just further out you you have deeper water and the reef a, a little beyond a little beyond that. For the most part, I'm just seeing people standing up and walking like for a while down, down, down. The, the water and swimming, even trying a little bit of snorkeling, see if they see any fish.
So who would I recommend Puerto Morelos for? I would recommend Puerto Morelos if you are somebody who wants to be somewhere that is a little more laid back and just closer to the water and just being at the beach, but without the hassle of dealing with the huge crowds in Cancun, the cellars, people drinking on the beach and all of that. This place is definitely quieter. I'm seeing a lot of old, you know, old retirees and expats from other parts of the world. I'm seeing families with small children just enjoying the, the beaches here. And I'm seeing, you know, young people, couples having soft conversations by the beach. So if you've met somebody in Cancun and you want to get to know them a little better, you know, without all the external pressure of everything that is going on in Cancun, definitely consider bringing them here for a day. Get away from the sun and just grab a beer. Chimantarrayon. I go stingray there. ¿Qué tal la pesca hoy? Pues gracias a Dios, sí. Estuvo bien. Estuvo bien. Nice catch, guys. Se logró. It was a little overcast when we first came here, but now it is a pink and gold sunset all around us. We even have a rainbow coming up from the ocean, which I have never seen before. And this is, it's beautiful. It is just 
it's just a place to be. So we're back at the ADO station here in Cancun. I hope that you guys enjo really enjoyed our time in Morelos and hopefully you can add it to your bucket list because it is a real, real cool stop if you're gonna be in the Cancun area, especially if you wanna do a low-key beach or just go explore outside of the city. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel to keep up with our adventures. So until our next adventure, adios, hasta luego.